1983, Slide Rock Lookout was brought to Fort Missoula. Today, we look at what it was like to live in the tower and the hardships that came with it. We interview a fireman living in the tower to get a greater inside look. I'm up here almost the entire day. Uh, 23 hours on an average day, I'm sitting up here in the tower. Uh, sometimes I go and explore outside a little bit more, but most of the day I'm up here. Uh, daily routine up here is pretty pretty standard. I uh, wake up every morning right when the sun hits the windows. It's pretty bright up here. So wake up in the morning, uh, typically make a, make a little food. I have some, uh, some canned meats that I throw on the, on the stove over there. Then at some point every day I have to go walk about a mile and a half to the, to the nearest river so I can grab a little bit of water because uh, there's <laughs> certainly no water up here. Then I just come up here and typically I read a book out there, uh, just set up, set up a chair and look out and just enjoy the view every day till, till dinner. It gets pretty hot up here some days. It also gets pretty cold. I, we're on top of the mountain, so the highs are pretty high when the sun starts beating down. It's like a fishbowl in here. And so the sun all comes in, and just like this place can get bacon in the middle of the day, especially on top of the mountain with no tree cover. But at night, the temperature gets down real way lower. So uh, for most of the day, it's pretty cool up here. But during the heat of the, heat of the midday, it can get pretty warm. But if you just go sit out on the, uh, on the patio out there on the deck, it's much more comfortable. I, uh, I'd say about three liters of water is what I get. It is really hard. I typically try and go down every day or at least every other day to get some water because if you've never carried water in the woods, it isn't super easy. So I have to go get water about every day, every other day if uh, at the most two days is the longest I'll go without going to get some water because it's heavier than you think it's going to be. So if I, if, I, uh, if I go down to the creek every day, then I don't have to carry too much up, but if I, if I go much longer than two days, then I end up carrying a ton of water, and that's just challenging. Yeah, at the beginning of summer, I typically bring up as much food as I can. Uh, brought it up on a mule this year, and I had to carry... I, I store up here uh, enough food for about six weeks, but typically... Uh, about halfway through the summer I get a drop off so after about a month I get a drop off of some food and then I don't have to uh, that, that just just some resupply about halfway through the summer so there's a lot of food up here that we have to store 